The Tsangwen administration assumed office almost a month ago, but so far it has not announced who will chair the Straits Exchange Foundation, Taiwan's semi-official negotiating agency with China. Local media reports originally said James Song, the China-friendly chairman of the People First Party, had been considered for the post. But now this idea has been dropped, and there are increasing calls for the former legislative speaker Wang Jinping to take on the role. While the presidential office has not made a formal announcement, but many ruling party lawmakers are voicing support. Wang Jinping, the former legislative speaker under the Ma administration, denied at the end of March he would take on the post of Straits Exchange Foundation chairman and be Taiwan's top negotiator with China. However, local media reports say that now that the new government is no longer considering People First Party James Sung for the post, Wang's name is once again on the lips of top politicians. Wang Jinping's sense of nativism is very strong, so he's closer to Taiwanese thinking. I think he should do this. In his previous capacity as parliamentary speaker, former speaker Wang Jinping displayed abilities to reconcile disputes that were second to none in Taiwan. If we appoint a candidate from the KMT that the DPP can accept and whose coordination abilities people trust, he could indeed take on many of the problems that President Tsai faces in handling China and cross strait relations. Speculation about connections between Wang Jinping and Tsai Ing-wen's deployment of cross strait relations personnel is not groundless. In 2011, Tsai Ing-wen played Wang Jinping a visit and there appeared to be a good friendship forming between them. However, there are many complications even if Wang Jinping does take on the post. He will not only have to give up his post as legislator, but there may even be a possibility that he will have to also give up his KMT membership.